Seasonable start for your day tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. We have another beauty on the way for the afternoon. Temperatures are going to be topping out right around 80 degrees. We're going to hold in the 70s through the evening. So any of your Thursday evening plans look phenomenal. I know there's Thursday night football games and whatnot. And it looks like it's going to be beautiful for those. We do have a few clouds and showers even that are trying to make their way south toward us. It does look like these are going to fall apart, but we can't rule out the possibility of a few sprinkles still managing to exist, especially over Lake Geauga and Ashtabula counties later on. Just a little weak disturbance that's moving through. I don't know that even all of that is hitting the ground. But we do have some clouds that are in play at this point and a southeasterly breeze that's helping to pump in some drier air. So right now we are in the mid 50s to low 60s across northern Ohio. Uh, the warm city temperatures are probably uh, where you're seeing the highest temperatures there. 64 at the Cuyahoga County Airport, 63 at the Akron Canton Airport. But it's that southeast wind that is, as I mentioned, bringing in some dry air. There's a lot of dry air to the east of us. And our dew point temperatures have been held down into the low 50s for much of the day today. That's very comfortable. And as far as what is coming in the forecast for the next several days, we still have very tolerable, dare I say, comfortable conditions staying with us all the way through the weekend and into the start of the week. So then you start saying, wait a minute, didn't you just mention the possibility of some rain that's coming in the forecast? Well, let's break all this down for you. We have a, kind of an interesting setup that is established across the country right now. First of all, we have these two areas uh, that we are keeping an eye on. The first is down toward Florida. That is expected to become a soaker for the East Coast over the weekend. Farther west then, a lot of the clouds that we have been dealing with are associated with an area area of low pressure that's kind of hanging out here in the Midwest. And then much farther west, you can see how all of these showers and these clouds are moving from southwest to northeast. And then right here over Idaho, they start to wrap back. This is going to be a low pressure system developing. So you have strong low to the west. We have strong low developing to the east. And we kind of have this little middle one that's really not doing much of anything. And so what ends up happening is we have a blocking pattern that is established. So what you see is what you get. And what's the name of that band, Russ? that we did earlier. A Steelers wheel. Steelers stuck wheel. Stuck in the middle with you, right? That's the one. We're stuck in the middle all together. We're stuck together. I know it's an earworm. I had everybody in the newsroom singing it earlier tonight. So sorry, folks. Uh, you're going to have that one tomorrow. Uh, here comes that low pressure off the East Coast, and that's going to put the brakes on a lot of eastward movement of anything going on in the lower 48. That storm system is going to continue to creep up the coast. Look at the clouds that start to wrap back toward Ohio. And by the time this is Friday, night we have no problems in the area so tomorrow is beautiful by the time we hit Saturday though you can see the clouds that start to move in and maybe even a few rain showers, especially out to the east. But we have dry air in place and that may help to chip away at the westward extent of that rain. So we'll keep an eye on that. Here's your National Design Mar hour by hour forecast. We should be up around 80 degrees tomorrow. Partly cloudy skies expected as uh, we're kind of wrapping up the end of summer here. The rest of your union home mortgage forecast keeps us dry all the way through Friday and into Saturday, although we could get those rain chances to start to peak east. Few clouds around for Sunday and then next week is our next significant rain chance that comes in. And even then it's just a slight chance and that doesn't arrive until later on Tuesday.